So I want to talk about what dollar cost averaging is. So we're going to call it D C A. Dollar cost averaging. Money dollars. All right. So what it is is, let's say you start investing at the age of 30 years old and you plan to retire at 65 years old. And during that time, the stock market does this. All right, let's imagine it's going higher over the long term and during that time you're contributing to your 401k and each month you contribute each paycheck so let's say twice a month or two times or whatever that is like uh, say you on the 15th excuse me the first and the 15th of each month you contribute say at six uh, percent of what you make okay so during that time let's say you buy here and you buy here and you buy at the top and then the market goes down and you buy here and you buy here and buy here and here and so on and so on and what you end up doing is you're buying at high points but most importantly you're buying at midpoints and low points throughout your investment period of time so in this case what is that 35 years okay 35 years you're investing you get to retirement here at 65 and your average is this okay this is your average price okay average price okay you would not have gotten that average price unless you really were good at timing things which most people are not but instead by buying throughout the years as you got closer to retirement your average price averaged out that is dollar cost averaging that's how you become wealthy over time. The number one thing you have to take into account is, is patience. When we're in market conditions like we are now, where we're seeing markets sell off in double digit levels, this is your buying opportunity to buy at lower prices. And as the market goes higher over time, course you're gonna buy at higher prices than you would say today but over time you will average a lower price and in the end you accumulate shares and you grow your overall wealth it just takes patience that is dollar cost averaging